This video is made possible by SolidWorks, where you can download their Cloud CAD and desktop apps for free at SolidWorks.com first. And also Stryker Careers, where first alumni go to make the next innovations in medical device technology at careers.stryker.com. Three, two, one, go! Gearheads line up for their autonomous, but they're going to one that's a little bit cockeyed. I don't know if it's going to work. It didn't make it. Gearheads continues to park in the other does not score. That does score during uh, autonomous. Tele up starts. All four robots are moving. As you can see on the red side, the human player put two red cones down immediately. You can have more than one cone at a time in the Alliance Station. Gearheads has a cone. They're heading towards the side. Oh, no, they're heading towards a huge pile, and they drop their cone. So even though you have a claw bot, there is a possibility that you may drop your cone. As you know, herding is not allowed. They did take four cones and put them all by themselves uh, at the same time into the corner. Um, that is the red side scoring area, but it's probably going to be a penal penalty for that. 21180 count counters the blue side by covering it with the red cone. Mm -hmm. 21180 drops their cone. Crack and Pinion extending outside the field. <laughs> I don't know if the referee was going to see that. <laughs> 180 scores on a jungin. We're in endgame. 21180 gets their capping device, which is the wrong color. <laughs> they put it on the red. And that's the game. Stay tuned for our final scores with our referee. And we had another nail-biting close finish. We had 30 points on the Blue Alliance and 36 points on the Red Alliance. Yay! This video is made possible by SolidWorks, where you can download their Cloud CAD and desktop apps for free at SolidWorks.com first. And also Stryker Careers, where first alumni go to make the next innovations in medical device technology at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot.